Okay guys, picked up four boxes of half dollars today from a couple of my banks that got my orders in. Right here we have two boxes that we're gonna get into. So for our first box, we have one heavy roll, we have a couple of semi-heavy rolls, and we have some slightly heavy rolls, and then we have one that might possibly be an ender. I'm not exactly sure, but something to look at for sure. So quite a few rolls to go through live in the first box. And then in box number two, we have some slightly heavy rolls here. We have five of those, and then we have another possible ender. And some of these are hard to see on camera, but in person, it could possibly be one. Might not be one, but we'll definitely open that live just in case it is. But anyways, guys, we are gonna get into these rolls. Hopefully we can find some silver. And if we do, I will get back to you guys on our first find. All right, guys, we are halfway through box number two not including our slightly heavy rolls. And we're gonna have our first find, which is gonna be a proof. So let's take a look at that. It's a 1989 San Francisco. And it's a beat up proof. Looks like it's been dipped in paint or something at some point and has some toning on the eagle and the lettering some goldish toning. So I don't know if this is some sort of specialty novelty that was made with some gold plating or something like that, but pretty cool nonetheless. Would be cool to see if we can get that paint off, but it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and put this in our finds and we'll keep on going and I'll see you guys in our next okay, find. Guys, we got another thousand dollar half dollar hunt here. And before we even get into the hunt, we're gonna start off with some silver. I went to the bank and returned my half dollars that I went through on the last hunt, which you guys may or may not see because I didn't find any silver in that hunt. But anyways, I returned those coins and lo and behold, by the machine, there was five silver dimes and two quarters. So these were in the garbage actually and someone must have thrown these away they were in a bag in the garbage and there were some fake coins with them some plastic coins so someone must have thought these were fake or something and uh, threw them away but we got two 1964 quarters here and both are going to be philadelphia we'll put those to the side and we have five silver dimes this was just awesome we got a 1955 here that one's going to be a philadelphia it looks like we have a 1946, and that's gonna be a Philadelphia as well. We have a Denver over here. This one's gonna be a 1963 Denver. And this is gonna be a 1964 Denver. And then we have another 1964, and that's Philadelphia. So very cool. I guess that makes up for our dime skunk that we had. We haven't done a dime hunt in a very long time. And then two silver quarters, that's always fun finding. But let's get into these, the half dollars now. I don't knock these all over but we have one very heavy roll we have a heavy roll we have a semi heavy roll and then we have these rolls which are slightly heavy and we have one underweight roll which is just missing one most likely and the heavy roll just probably has an extra one so that evens out and then over here we have a couple of semi heavy rolls we have five of those so let's get into this hunt let's see what we can find hopefully we can pull out some silver Last hunt, we did have a roll that weighed like it would have silver in there, and it did not. It was 226.5 grams, so that was very surprising. But anyways, let me stop talking and let's get into this video. Okay, guys, so it looks like we're going to have our first silver, and it looks like it's going to be a 40 percenter. I'm guessing it's going to be a 1967, so we're going to take it out and see. But I feel like this has been a long time in the making because we've had quite a few skunk boxes recently. So it's nice to pull out a silver from a non-heavy roll. And this is a 1969 Denver. Very happy with that. Awesome. So first one for the board. And that's the first one of the hunt. And first one for box number one. So we're going to keep on going. Hopefully we can find some more silver before we get into those heavy rolls. And when we do get to those heavy rolls, we'll do those live for you guys to see. Okay, guys. So literally two rolls later. And I took the wrapper off of... This one, because I didn't see it right away, and I was getting ready to do my sound check, and then I saw it staring right at me, and it's a very obvious one. So let's take a look. It's a 1967 40%er, so that's two for the box so far. 
finally putting some silver on the board. So very, very happy so far with this hunt. Like I said, the past couple of boxes have been skunks. So very excited to have those two silver 40 percenters so far. And that's just a 74. And that's in regular rolls. These didn't weigh heavy or anything. So very happy with that. I'm gonna keep on going and I'll see you guys at our next find. Okay, so this is crazy. Same thing happened as last time. Another two rolls later, I took off the wrapper. Kind of a habit now to take off the wrapper right away and just do the sound check. But um, I didn't even get into the sound check. I just took the wrapper off and I looked down and saw this one really obvious staring right back at me. So let's see what it is. And it's another 1967 Philadelphia. And this one's a nice one too. Take a look at the reverse. And there it is. Very nice. So that's number three for the hunt. And this was another regular weight roll. It wasn't a heavy roll, so very cool. I'm going to get into the rest of these rolls. We got eight rolls before we get into those heavy rolls. So let's see if we can find anything else. Okay, guys, we've had quite a hunt so far. Three 40 percenters on the board. And the finds from earlier, the two quarters and the five silver dimes. So very happy with that. Great start. We got these heavier rolls, so we'll get into those. This is going to be that... One that most likely has an extra half dollar in it, coming in at 236.5 grams. And I forgot to mention earlier, our last video we did have a skunk, but we did find a proof. I might tie that video into this one, but just basically finding the proof part. And I don't see anything in this roll, so we'll go ahead and put it to the side. And we'll get into our underweight roll. Because we did find a 90% at one time in an underweight roll. And it's 214 grams on the dot. And let's see what we've got here. And I don't see anything there. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say we're missing one. And that's a bicentennial. Alright, so now we'll get into that heavy roll. 227 on the dot. Fingers crossed we got a 90%er in this roll. Let's see what it is. Might have a 90% or multiple 40s. Looks like we're gonna have a 90. And I'm assuming it's gonna be a 1964. So let's see if I can grab it. There we go, I got it. And wow, that actually looks really nice from the reverse. It's gonna be a Philadelphia. And it's a 1964. Very nice. So we're gonna be adding a 90%er to this hunt. I'll take a double look at that roll, make sure we didn't miss anything. And now we got a slightly heavy, which is coming in at 226.1. So the possibility of finding a 40 percenter in this roll is up there. So fingers crossed that we're able to pull out a 40 percenter from this roll. And I am not seeing anything on camera. And this is just a beat up bicentennial. So what we'll do is we'll go through all these off camera really well and make sure we didn't miss anything. We got a 225.8. So here are those slightly heavy rolls. Just meet that threshold of where we could possibly start seeing something. That's a 1971 tricking us for a 40 percenter. And the rest are going to be 225.8s as well. So we'll go ahead and open this one. We still have one more box to go after this, box number two, and we'll see if there's anything good in box number two. Hopefully we can pull out some more 40 percenters. All right, 225.8. And also guys, we are approaching 3,000 subscribers, and we're going to be doing a giveaway once we get to 3,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. I'm just going to see if this is approved, but it's not. It's a really nice 1980 Denver. But yeah, so like I said, we're going to be doing a 3,000 subscriber giveaway. It's going to be awesome, and I'm going to have a video coming on that shortly. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and check all these, make sure we didn't miss anything, and then I'll get into box number okay, two. Okay, guys, we just got an amazing find. I did peek, and I did a little research on this. So let's take a look at what it is. I thought it was going to be approved, and I'm kind of right. It's It doesn't have that proof strike. But it's a commemorative half dollar, and it's from 1995, San Francisco Mint. And this is just awesome. The mintage on this is 119,520. And this is a Civil War Battlefields commemorative half dollar. 
and I looked this up and the NGC write up on it was really, really cool. I'll give you guys a brief breakdown of that in a second, but just want to look at this model over here that says enriching our future by preserving the past. I think that's pretty cool saying. And basically on NGC in the 1990s, the civil war battlefields that um, were still being preserved and stuff like that. And obviously the housing and commercial wanted to build on those fields. And what they did was they used the sales of these coins to preserve those fields. And that's where the statement comes from, enriching our future by preserving the past. So they preserved those fields. And I thought that was pretty cool. And I might just leave a link down below to the NGC so you guys can read up on that. I think it's a really cool little history lesson. And this is just a beautiful coin. Very happy to have it. 119,520 minted. So really, really cool piece. And I'm so happy to have this. And this is our first find for box number two. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side and we'll keep on going and hopefully we can find some silver. Okay guys, we just finished up box number two. And it's everyone's favorite time, time to get into those slightly heavy rolls. And this one weighed in at 225.8 earlier, but just now 225.6. And I don't see anything there. In these rolls, if we don't get anything, I might cut this part out of the video. So this is a 225.8, and the next one up is a 225.7. So if you guys don't see the heavy rolls, well, you won't see this video either. Just depends on the other clips in the video. I don't see anything here. 225.7. The other one that I was just checking was because it had a thicker rim. So it looked like it could have been improved possibly. And I don't see anything here. And that's a 1985. Let's see what this roll, 225.8. So if we don't get any silver from these rolls, not a complete skunk because we did find that beautiful coin, the commemorative half dollar. And let's see. Nope, that's a 74. And then we'll check this one. 225.8. So if not, I'll go ahead and check all these off camera and then we get into that wrap up. And I don't see anything here that's really sticking out to me. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go through these, check them all off camera. And then we'll get into the wrap. Okay, guys, so we just finished up those rolls. So let's get into this wrap up. And we did really good on this hunt. We got a 1964 Philadelphia 90 percenter. We ended up with three 40 percenters. So we got a 1967 here. We got two 1967s, both Philadelphia. Very nice. Glad to be back on the silver, pulling those out of regular weight rolls. 1969 Denver. And then this I wanted to show you guys. It's a bicentennial and they did do 40% bicentennials, but I wanna show you guys this real quick because it did weigh up a little bit heavier. So I'm thinking it could be possibly a 40 percenter. It's 11.5 grams and uh, the regular non-silver coins weigh in at 11.34 grams. So, I'm gonna have to get that checked out or see if I can clean it up with some acetone. Although you're not really supposed to clean coins, this one is definitely beat up enough to where it's just really would be the silver value now. And then this was from the second box, 1995 San Francisco, Civil War Battlefields. And this is a commemorative coin with 119,520 minted. So very happy to have found this coin. This is just awesome. And I just think it's a really cool commemorative coin. I'm very happy with that. And then these were our finds from the Coinstar. Very happy with them. Five dimes, silver dimes, 1955. That's a Philadelphia. We got a 1946 Philadelphia. Now this was just crazy, these finds. 
We got a 19, what's that, a 63 Denver. And we also got two quarters out of this, which I'll show in a second, and a 64, and another 64, Denver and Philadelphia. So five silver dimes, insane. And then we got two 1964 quarters. So a little collection dump at the coin machine. I'm very happy with that, both Philadelphia. So all in all, I'd say a very successful hunt, especially because recently we haven't been having too much luck with the silver half dollars. So very happy with all the finds from today. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below as well as a comment and subscribe if you guys are new around here. And also, I meant to say one more thing. If you guys don't see the heavy rolls that I just went through, I might cut that out. So if you guys don't see that, we didn't find anything in those rolls. If you don't see it, then you know I cut it out. But anyways, guys, thank you guys, and I will see you guys on our next hunt.